what do I want out of it? I just want to help a few people. Great. That's fine as long as you know that's what you're doing and you don't let yourself get frustrated when you don't go beyond that. In other words, if your goal is not to be ED, then don't beat yourself up if you're not ED. Decide what you want and make that then your minimum standard. You could say, I, I want to be senior coach every month. Great. Make that your minimum standard. I'm going to have always at least five clients. You, you know, there's a, this reminds me of something, just a digression. There are people who get to an overweight state and they will stay within about a, a 10 pound range, five above and five below. Are you aware of this? If they start to get heavier, they will self-regulate and get back down. If they start to drop, well, they'll eat more. But they stay in this range. It's their comfort zone. It's where they kind of have envisioned themselves and, and they're kind of stuck at that point. Well, what you want to do is have that same level of commitment to a certain level of income. I, I want to have five clients. If I have less, I'm going to work a little harder. If I have more, maybe I won't work as hard. But, but you decide where you want it to be. Now, if you decide you want to build the business and, and you want to build it to the point where you can replace a full-time job. Now, I, I had a friend in the pharmaceutical industry. He was there a long time. And, and it went from being the guy who glad-handed doctors to carrying a laptop and having almost every minute of every day accounted for. And he said, this is more stressful than anything I've ever done. But they paid you pretty good money. Now, if you want to make that kind of money here and quit that job, can you be any less demanding of yourself? See, that's, th this is the light bulb that has to go on. You have to think, if I'm going to do this, if I want to replace my full-time income, if I want to make serious money, then I really have to treat this differently. I can't build it by accident. So what do I mean building by accident? I mean going shopping, getting in the dressing room and saying, could you bring me a smaller size? This is too big. I've lost so much weight. And hoping someone overhears you and asks you how you lost the weight. <laughs> That's building by act. Might happen, you know. But you, you know, you, someone might say, how did you lose the weight? But I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll move right on. Why, why do you need to do it? We're going to do it your own way. It, and and I'm, I've kind of jumped ahead a little bit, but we're going to talk about creating a system for you. And it's not what you can do, it's what you will do. Because it gets down to, my daughter recently started the uh, insanity exercise. Anyone ever hear of that? Kind of, there's PX90 and it's Sandy. And, Three of my boys did insanity, and I said, I'd like to do that. Well, I'd like, I like the idea of doing it, but I'm not going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, 40 minutes. I said, how much time do you spend a day? She said, about 40 minutes. I said, yeah, I'd really like to do that, but I'm not going to do it. It's kind of like I, I've got a daughter who we've had five cats. She loves cats. But what she really likes is the idea of having a cat. She doesn't change its litter. She doesn't feed it. She doesn't change its water. But she loves having a cat. I mean, every, every time we've been out of a cat, she came home at, at uh, this summer. She was home for a week, and in that week, we got a new cat. <laughs> I don't like cats, but, but you know, it, it's that. It's, it's, I like the idea of cold calling, but if I'm not going to cold call, why would I commit to doing it, or, or, or even say I would doing it? So you need a system. Why? Because you will run out of people you know. In, in relationship marketing, this is the most common thing. I don't know who to talk to. And you know, people can say, oh, you know a thousand people by first name. Well, maybe. Maybe I'm not that person who knows a thousand people by first name. And, and even if I do, maybe I know them so little that, that I would be so uncomfortable calling them I'm not going to call. So if you're depending on the people you know, your business will look like this. You'll get involved, you'll have a blip up, you'll get your five, maybe you'll get some referrals from them, and as they start to transition either into maintenance or off the program, your business will go down. And it will flatten out unless you come up with a system. And it's got to be your system. 
Now, Joanne has a great system. She does shows. I've done some shows. I, in another company, I did uh, shows with a guy because he was willing to pay for them. He said, if you'll uh, come help me, you know, we'll split the leads. I was great at developing leads with this company. I had boxes of leads. Never followed up with any of them. <laughs> Never got one client or piece of business from any of that. So for me, it wasn't very effective. And, and yet, he spent a lot of money getting us into those booths. So does that work? It works for Joanne. Would it work for you? Maybe, maybe not. That's what you have to figure out is what will work for you and if you decide to do it, what will you do? And so here's how you get to that point. You have to think, what are you looking for? And, and I say, first, something you enjoy. Now, how many of you are familiar with Meetup? Meetup groups. Okay. A lot of people go on Meetup and they start a Meetup for weight loss or something like that. And hope people will come and join it. My advice is go to Meetup and find stuff that you like. For example, uh, I speak fluent French. Lived in France for a while, so I went to Meetup and found French conversation groups that I could join. Why? Because I wanted to meet new people. I knew that my sphere was limited. And so if I'm not adding to my sphere every day somehow, then it's decreasing. Because if you talk to the same people all the time, either one, they'll become customers, or two, you'll drive them crazy and drive them away, and they'll never become customers. You talk to me about that weight loss program one more time. I mean, you know, we, we know that. And so you have to be able to expand your sphere. Here's another thing that happens. You lose weight, you go from, you know, you lose 100 pounds. You, you well know Larry, right? Yeah. Larry, Larry's lost, what, 100, 145 pounds. 145 pounds. <laughs> now, if you saw Larry, just met Larry today, and, you know, you would just think he was a slim guy. You wouldn't look at him and say, wow, what did you do? Because you wouldn't have any idea that he'd lost that kind of weight. In fact, you would almost disbelieve the fact that he ever weighed that much. You know, you, you wouldn't without a picture. And so our individual story, I mean, we're a walking billboard for a while. We're not always a walking billboard because people who didn't know us didn't know that we lost weight. And, and so it, it's why we have to find something, a system that will work for us. So what do you enjoy? Do you like knitting? Are you a dog person? Do you like cats? Do you, do you shoot? Do you love uh, Harley Davidson's? Are you a movie type? I mean, look for groups that you identify with. Look for like-minded people. People who kind of enjoy doing the, the kind of stuff you do. Because one, you're gonna, you're gonna find it easy to meet people, you know? You're gonna find that, that they share a lot of the same common values that you do. And it'll be easier to bring up conversations. So something you enjoy, you know, pilots associations. I mean, what have you done in the past? Uh, something that will help you meet new people and something that will be consistent that you can do over time. If it's, you know, a lot of people join leads groups. Leads groups are okay. Some people really do well with them. I've gotten in leads groups before. They didn't really work that well for me. I have, I know other people that that's all they do is leads group. So if I tell you it doesn't work for me, it doesn't mean it won't work for you. If Joanne says, boy, you ought to be doing shows, I think, well, man, if that's the way I have to do the business, I probably won't do it. My sponsor and her sponsor have a website now, and well, it's kind of elaborate, and they style themselves as the Diet Divas. That's how they answer their phone. Hi, I'm your Diet Diva. Doesn't work for me. <laughs> not going to be a diet. I can be the dude, diet dude, but I'm not, you know, that's, that doesn't work for me. So it's kind of like they went off in a direction that doesn't support me particularly and, and doesn't help me and I'm not going to follow. But that's fine. That's what they're doing. And so it's just finding what works for you. Uh, how many people have lost weight, work for a company, you've 